Floss Tube. It's Lisa here from the Shady Tree Stitches and I would like to wish you all a very happy holiday festive season. As you can see we are decorated for Christmas which is the um, festive holiday we celebrate here in Australia. Um, thank you for joining me if you're new. hope you like hearing about my stitching and if you're returning I really appreciate you coming back. Um, it means a lot to me to get the comments and the likes and to see that people like to see my journey. We're nearly at the end of another year of stitching, so coming up very shortly will be my whip parades. But today is a bonus, you get a double whammy because I didn't have time to, to film last weekend. So we've got two weeks worth of stitching for me to talk about plus a little bit of haul. Um, so I'm going to get into that. All right, so we're covering the end of November and the beginning of December, but I'm really excited because it's December, which means it's finished that stitch December. So as usual, I'm gonna start with something I haven't done for a while. It's a finish. I have finished stitching Beach Cottage. It's a little house needlework design. There you go. So I have finished stitching that. It's the first one I've completed in the finish the stitch December. I knew it didn't have much to do. It had about 200 and something stitches to go. So it is um, it is finished, it is done. Here, if I put it there, you can see it properly. So that's really good and I'm very excited. This is done on a piece of my crazy hand dyed fabric. And if you see when I hold it back, it was like totally random colors. And I, um, I looked at it and I went, that looks just like sand. And see so I put it on it and I'm gonna frame this one in a frame and it's actually gonna to go to shady trees to be on the wall at the shady trees house so that is super exciting um, I'm enjoying enjoying December because I get to stitch on all these beautiful things that are nearly finished um, and a couple of new starts because you know no new starts 2021 starts in a few weeks time more about that later okay so let's go back to last week I did a lot of work on my my um, around the world postage stamps so they are now looking like this we have got Sydney very well underway and Paris and I worked on these for numerous reasons but to do with there being um, a tree in a park because there are trees in other bits that you can't see um, I'm guessing I also did it to finish off some monthly prompts I had to do a thousand on this for something with the city with landmarks and I also did um, them to do with stamps to do with the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge so yeah I got to double dip it a lot with a lot of different things so that's where I'm up to long way to go really looking forward to doing more on this one as we progress through next year okay I also did a large chunk of work so the postage stamps, I did about 1300 on that. Worked on my Anzac. So this is how my Anzac's looking now. Sorry, you can see through him, I didn't bring my board. And in particular, I was working on this part down here. And my Anzac, I was working on because there's a turtle, which would be a stocking stuffer. And also, again, would have been for monthlies. I have to switch back for that. Um, Oh yeah, for the animals, koala and wombat. So really quite happy with how it's going. I like it on the, on the brown. It's not good there with that window open. Um, so yeah, long way to go on here, but definitely, definitely seeing some progress. It's, it's quite relaxing to work on now that it's on a nice 28, 32 count rather than the 40 count. I also did some work on my castle. Not a lot of work on the, well, a fair bit because of the monthly I had to do a thousand on it um, but for one of the prompts I didn't have to do a lot on um, it was a magical stitch prompt I think but there we go that's how my cutaway castle is looking now so I did a lot on the blue sky but I'm really liking this diagonal idea now because if you look closely you can see where I started to do block by block and you can really see the squares so by going the diagonal it's getting read of those lines those joining lines so I'm really enjoying stitching on the diagonal for ones like this 
So that's my huge cutaway castle, um, which will be coming back to visit us again next year as well. And then the other one I worked on, I had two new starts last week. So first one, I'll put a picture here of Joya Noel. It's a free chart. Um, if you're interested in it, let me know and I can tell you where to find it. Um, but it's um, a Christmas one, Christmas Quaker, and I just loved it. And lots of us on Virtual Stitches loved it. Sorry, <laughs> there's my yawn. It's always one. Um, and it's a really, really simple stitch. So I did my Joya Noel 400 stitches, and I have um, decided to use some of my fancy flosses to do it, my silks. So that's where I got up to for the Joya Noel. Um, I had to stitch on something that had silk and I had to do something, something to do with Christmas, I think, and it had a, um, had a tree in it. So yeah, my homework is sort of all over the place because of the, the sharing round. So I'm looking forward to doing more of that. We are actually trying to work on it every Wednesday um, on the Aussie Hour of Virtual Stitches until the end of the year. And my other new start, I'd had to wait a long time for this, was Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. And I got her started um, and ended up getting about 400 stitches done on her bodice. So she's well started. This one is on a piece of fabric by hand dyed by Stephanie. That was a present for me from, for me a while ago um, from Aussie Stitch Belinda. So thank you, because she's perfect for this. I thought that that colour really matched what they had. And this is one of the few pictures I actually like their backing fabric. So I have put, I had started her. Um, so that's what I did last week. Then we turn to this week. Now this week, there's lots of things happening. We started December. And in December, I am playing this the Semi Sane Stitches Whip Wranglers where I set 20 whips that I wanted to work on during the month and I spin a wheel or a dice, 20 sided dice and whatever number rolls up is what I do. Oh, sorry, maybe a drink will help. So 20 sided dice, be rolling up my numbers and then you roll a normal six sided dice to see how many stitches you do. You multiply it by 100 for me because I'm doing the, just the regular size, believe it or not, I didn't go extreme. So I have been working on a number of different projects this week for that. So the first one I... All here. Why are they not all here? One moment. Okay, I worked it out. Sampling Thanksgiving. Little Lizzie Kate one. This one was to do with lines. I had to do um, lines because I'm also doing um, daily 30s Christmas tag. And so there's these different words I have to fit them in. So this one was for lines, I know that, and I have done another 217 stitches to finish off the alphabet. So there's not too much left of it to go, so it's definitely on my radar to try and finish if it gets drawn up this month. So that's pretty cool. I also <coughs> had a little glass started on the autumn part of my... Lindsay Kate Autumn Stall Smalls. I've done this one previously, this one previously. I'm not sure if I've done that one, I might have. And then I've got to do the autumn. So my, my plan at the moment is to work on the actual letter ones. And we have a mutt. Sorry, a tum. It's back to front for me. We have a tum. So nice and easy. Using so continuing on with the The Ada and this sort of speckly brow. So yeah, so that's where I got with that. So that's 204 stitches. Um, the 200 stitches means that I can double that up for the final exams in um, Crystal Academy. The 200 stitches for the tag, for the daily 30s, 200 stitches for different homeworks for, for magical stitches. So I've been trying to just like wake one bit of stitching for as many different things as possible. All right, I also worked on my little Christmas tree ornaments. And apart from, um, well, I actually do have them finished. 
but my fabric had room for four. So my three green ones are finished and I decided to do a blue one as well, just for something different. So when I finish that, I will actually be totally finished with them. So they will be finished this month, that is definitely. And I might even turn them into pillows and get them all ready to go. Maybe even give them away as Christmas presents to my family. I haven't decided yet. I haven't really thought about Christmas. Getting all the decorations up was as good as I could get so far. Also had another new start, which was um, this one here, which is called a Gingered Village. And I worked on this one 307 stitches. And that's where I got up to. So this is on a piece of Paddock Lane Designs dyed fabric um, that my friend and I, who are doing it together, we wanted it. So it's, it's meant to be like a bit of a snowy, snowy gray blue. So we're doing the gingerbread village on that. And that fits in with a lot of different prompts as well. Okay. Uh, really tired. It's working today on my cat glasses case. My goal is to finish this today before it turns midnight over in Magical Stitches land because I really don't have much to do. I'm not sure I'm going to do the back stitch. I might just do um, leave it unbackstitched because it's such a cute pattern as it is. So I've just got to do finish off his scarf. I will have to backstitch the face obviously and then I've got to do just the red dots all the way around and he'll be done so that'll be good. So this is one of my whip mom three years old. Okay, the other thing that I have just stitched on, um, and I haven't done many yet, but very excited this week, we got into the storage shed and I found a few more boxes. And I'm very excited to say I found the three whips that I was looking for. So the first one is this one, um, which I'm off getting my working copy made today. So I've only done 48 stitches on it, but you can see them there. But what I wanted to show you is that I'm actually going to stitch this one sideways using this cool little lap frame. Because that way it can stay scrolled up and it can stay on here and this is my fairy tale village. So, it's pretty cool. It's a Kay's Creation stand. Came from Texas, there you go. So yeah, so we're using that lap stand for that one. The second piece I found that I have now have is my, in my whip album is called the number sampler and this is out my all our yesterdays pattern that i'm working on and you'll be able to see in a minute where i'm up to i haven't done any this week on it but oops don't fall she's gonna fall this is where i'm up to so i'm like you know nearly probably halfway done So really cute, and not only that, halfway done and completed. I've done all the backstitch and everything. So numbers one, the boat, and three are completed. So I've just got to work down now, do two, little seasoning, and then four and five. So that's going into my whip pile for no new starts for next year. And the other one is not really very exciting at all, but she looks like this, which is Celtic Winder, and by Lavender and Lace. And I have got her started and she started it enough to be a whip it's a dress i'm guessing she's upside down by the looks of that um started this a long long time ago yeah she goes that way but i thought i'd show you this because these are on my old scroll frames and this is a scroll cane cover i made myself isn't it such a beautiful 1990s piece of fabric but all it is is a piece of fabric that i sewed half down on the sides and it's just big enough to cover it like a pillowcase but it's not actually sealed on the other side and it keeps the dust off them. So that's pretty exciting. I also have been busy making things. I made thread drops and what I did was I continued my idea of being frugal and I found that Christmas cards, oh those ones are plain, are, um, are the right sort of thickness to do thread drops. And they're plain on one side and you've got pretty pictures on the other. So I've made these using the punch that Sue got me. And in particular, my hole is so big 
in the middle of my punches that I could actually make myself little cute ones as well. See, little ones. Which when you've just got a couple of strands, you know, just take with you a little travel one. And I've just got them on little um, clip rings. Just clip apart. So I'm really excited. I've got so many thread jobs now. And I love Christmas, so I don't care about Christmas cards all year round. Now, I've also been with a little bit of haul, got a big bunch of fabric in to dye. In particular, it looks like Spotlight was getting rid of its linen. So I've got a whole bunch of linen to dye, which is exciting. And I've been getting my threads, thread colors of the month from A Stitch in Time in Tasmania. So it's the only Australian shop that I know of that offers all these thread clubs and I'm getting all of them. So it's just working through alphabetically the different threads. So we've got Weeks Dye Works. A bunch of nice variegated there. Then we've got the Gentle Arts. So I get five of each. I think maybe six, six of these. Two, three, four, yeah, six of each, okay. So the Gentle Arts, really nice colours there. And Classic Colour Works. And the good thing for me was that I was starting at the um, end of the alphabet when I was getting these from overseas, but it's costing me half as much to get them locally. So that's just amazing how much difference the um, currency conversion is. So there's some Classic Colour Works. Also got my Silks For You. Um, I don't know, colour of the month, silks of the month. I forget which is which. But these ones are really, really lovely. These are the standard colours, so the purples and grey. So I've got lots more nice, beautiful silks to do, and I'm really thrilled that I've started to use them now. And I've also got my fabric of the month from Crafty Lenny. And as I said, people say, why do I why do I promote another fabric dyer? Because she does an awesome job. Really, I cannot recommend her high enough. She does fantastic. Look at this. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And she's called it Caloundra, which is the area of Queensland where she lives. And it's meant to be like the beach and the waves. So gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. So I love her work and I'm happy to support her. Um, and keep buying her lovely fabrics because she does a great job. So yes, I, I thoroughly recommend that. Okay, I also got a little Christmas present from my friend Michelle. She's, um, as we said at the retreat, started to make zipper pulls and thread drops. So she's made me this one with a treble clef on it because I'm a music teacher. Very cute. This one with some beautiful brown wooden things and a tassel and this one is super cute it's got a, um, it's a bit like a, a butterfly sort of thing at the bottom really cute so thanks Michelle I love Christmas presents um, so I will get them onto some bags soon and the last bit of haul I have is my own shopping my planner for next year so for people in Australia because we don't have easy access to lots of other things this is an auto planner from Officeworks. And what I really like about it is that it has the, the 12 month page. It also then has got in here somewhere, find the page. It's got the year planner, which is where I write my starts and stops down um, when I finish. Um, I won't have any starts next year, obviously. Um, but what I like is this, so there's a monthly spread for each month, but the reason I really liked it is, look at this layout. So what I normally do is I write down what I worked on each day and the number of stitches. So that will stay the same. But on this side is where I write down what all the tasks are. Because you see this year, when I was doing it, it was like down the bottom and on the side. I think this is going to be so much neater to have all the what I need to do on this side and what I've done on this side. So super excited to have such a cute, bright, colourful, look at that, beautiful rainbow colours um, planner to work with. And I went a little bit smaller too, because I didn't need a huge one, but I really like that size. Love the spiral binding. So I thoroughly recommend it. It's Goals Planner by Otto, if you're interested in that. 
And the other thing I did, and I'd like to thank Sammy Day for sharing this idea and I've tweaked it myself. I've actually made myself whip cards for the year because it's no new starts. So I'm gonna be working on whips, so I'm not gonna be starting new things. And I'm gonna have somewhere between 90 and 100 whips to work on by the time I get a few finished this month. So I have made myself up whip cards and what I'm going to do is this is actually just to track when I work on them so I can see. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put up there, I'm gonna write down you know, what the fabric is and stuff down the bottom. And then I've got one for each thing. I did them double-sided, so there's four on a page. Um, I can chop them up if I want, put them in the planner, but I may just put them in a, in a folder like this um, and work on them. Or I'll put, yeah, put them in each whip and write, just mark off when I actually work on them. So that would be pretty cool. So that's what I've done. And I really like the idea of having the calendar and just being able to see when do, when do I work on them. I haven't decided yet what my plans will be for next year in particular. Um, yeah, there's a few groups obviously that will be driving what I stitch when, but I do want to try and make sure I touch every whip um, at least twice in the year. There'll be certain months where there's certain things happening. Um, can't really give too much away yet, but we have lots of, lots of fun ideas planned for no new starts. To anyone who is been interested in joining, unfortunately, you have missed the boat. If you're not in, you're not in. It's closed now, and we now need everyone who is in, and there's about, oh, about 350 people who are participating in some form. They need to get their whip albums up. You've got till the 13th of December to get them up so we can check them and help you with them. And then you've got till the 31st of December to get your 200 stitches in on all the pieces. So if you haven't finished doing your 200 stitches, that's fine. Just get the photo and the list up so that we can start to do our administration ready to start. And watch this space because there might be a secret surprise announcement coming in, um, in about a week or two. So yeah, no new starts is hugely exciting. Um, I have started new things for it, but they were new things that I would have started next year anyway. The point of no new starts is to work on the whips you have. And some people are saying, well, what's the point of starting new things if you're meant to work on the ones you have? You can thank the other challenge groups for those. So I've got two more pieces coming in the mail that I need to start. And other than that, I'm all started and everything's at the, the level. So I'm pretty good to start. So my, my mission now is just to see if I can finish a few more knock them off my list before the end of the year. All right, well, I thought it was gonna be a long one, but it really wasn't, because I did work on each of the pieces quite a bit. Um, I noticed I hadn't given you the stats for a while. So for those of you who like to keep up the stats, I don't do the stats to brag. Some people think I do, I don't. I just find it interesting to, to collect the data of what I stitch. So very interestingly, last week, I did 3,273 stitches, which was not a lot for me um, <laughs> this week. Even less, 2,359 stitches in the week. I had one day where I only did 100 stitches. Um, but I like having a little goal. So even just 200 here, 300 there, just keeps me going. I do stitch every day. As I said, I've stitched nearly every day this year. Um, just keeps me focused. I've had a lot of work at school this week that just gone. I have three days of work this week at school coming. So stitching has to take a bit of a back seat. Unfortunately, real life had, you know, getting things ready for Christmas, getting ready end of year stuff with the kids. It's a busy, busy time, but I do like to try and keep up with it. So hopefully I'll be all on track to come back to you next week with this week's stitching. Of course, there'll be more finish that stitch December to show you. I've got um, the whip wranglers to tell me what to stitch on each day and who knows what else will happen by next week. So I wish you all a very happy week of stitching. I hope you can get in some time to yourself to get some done and I will be doing my whip album, my, my whip parade um, this week as well. So watch out for that if you're interested. You can get a big cup of coffee and sit back and see what on earth have I been working on with all of these pieces to get ready for next year. All right, stay safe. Bye.